they just wanted to mess with black kids like us and just mess up our day and stuff. Support is now growing for a group of boys after they had racial slurs hurled at them in downtown Nashville. Thanks so much for joining us at 6. I'm Marius Payton. And I'm Lauren Lowry. Today, we heard from one of those boys during a news conference put on by State Representative Justin Jones. They told our Danielle Ledbetter they are finding the courage to pursue what they once loved. That's them kids' passion. They love to do it, and they taught themselves. Ashton Lee gets emotional as her son and his friends play the drums. That's because it was taken away from them. And now that it's brought back, like, it's just a relief. She says it's the first time they're playing the drums since a hate group called them a variety of racial slurs while they were playing the instruments downtown. A video of the encounter has since circulated around on social media. At first I was angry, but now I'm, I'm happy because they get to do it again. Detonio Wilson, one of the boys, recalled what happened to him during the news conference. We didn't do that until then. We was about to go home on our way home. We went around them. They called us bad words, and we didn't say nothing to them. They just wanted to mess with black kids like us and just mess up our day and stuff. Representative Justin Jones said he called Wednesday's event to condemn the hate group's actions. He also called the police reaction to the boys in the video a failed response. Today, in a statement, MNPD responded, the hatred is shocking and reprehensible. I know, be better than them, though. MNPD said officer body camera video shows that members of a police team moved in to de-escalate and walk with the children away from the group. Lee says seeing everyone there made her feel less alone in her fight to help her kids feel protected. It gives you a relief. It gives you a big relief because just to know them kids is not out there by themselves and they help my mind at ease. Which allows her kids to continue to play to the beat of their own drum. Danielle Ledbetter, WSMV4.